Today I'm gonna to go over how to make prawn spinner. Stay tuned. Today I'm going to go over how to make a prawn spinner. Um, so I started out with just a mooching rig. Now there, I do have a, another video on how to tie these. I'm going to put the link right up there. And so that's what I'm going to start with. First thing we're going to do is put a bead down. So I'm going to start with... One of these green ones. Now you can go all green, all red. Um, it's up to you how you want to do it. But uh, I'm going to start with the green. Now this you don't see on prawn spinners too much. Something uh, someone showed me in the store the other day. I thought I'd try it out. It seemed to work pretty well uh, for keeping the prawn straight. So that's going to go on next. And I, I made this on a twist deck. Pretty easy to do. Um, if you make it spreaders and anything with wire spinners, whatever, um, twist X, not cheap, but you know, in the long run, if you're a do it yourself for like I am, it, uh, you know, you get to make your own stuff and however you want it. And it's a lot cheaper in the long run, kind of sometimes <laughs> it depends on how much you use your, all the stuff. But anyway, so there's the, the pin that's going to straighten out the prawn. Now I'm gonna put on two other beads. Um, when it comes to beads, the color choice is, you know, however you wanna do it. Now I did use my prawn spinner the other day, went fishing, because prawns was supposed to be the hot ticket, but not that way. And so now I'm going to put on this little, this little bead, it's like a four millimeter. I think that's a six, those might be eights, I don't know. Um, but I went prawn spinner fishing because the rumor was that was the hot ticket. And uh, we didn't catch much. We didn't catch anything on spinners, but herring did pretty well up more towards uh, Oregon City. So this is the plastic clevis. What this allows you to do is change out your spinner blades. If you want to change out your colors throughout the day, which I do all the time, I'm either changing my spinners or the blades. This is a Bronco. Um, I fished that yesterday. Like I said, no love for the prawn spinner yesterday. And my buddy was fishing just spinners. So these are uh, these are pre-made spinners. Got a whole bunch. Coast Guard. Those are usually pretty good. Mexican flag. So here's some of the blade colors. Mexican flag is always good. That's the Bronco Rainbow. Um, they have different names for this one depending on who makes it. Short Bus makes some um, VIP. VIP makes one. It has a candy back on it. That's a good one. I should have one in here somewhere. Um, so, yeah, here's one. Green with the green dot with the candy back. That's been, that's a good lure right there. So, that's why I like these, these change, quick change clevises. But that's pretty much the, the prawn spinner right there. And, um, I'm going to show you how I actually put my my prawn on there so this is one of the prawns I was using yesterday bright pink color in towel wipe my hands so the way I was doing this yesterday is I would just take the prawn straighten it out some people will pinch off the tail 
I was kind of leaving them on but uh, this will go down the middle of the prawn as best as you can to straighten it out Oop, going through the head uh, body came apart these are getting a little mushy already so and then depending how far up you want to go sometimes what I would do also is just go right through the head into the meat and then I would leave this hook right there so now and I would leave this hook trailing and I'm pretty much trolling my prawn spinner something like that so now you've seen how I tie my prawn spinners um, talk a little bit about the blades so that's a Mexican hat that's a Bronco this is and they're all from different manufacturers this is a VAP green green dot with a candy back they call that the Armageddon um, everyone's got their own schemes uh, short bus makes that rainbow I haven't seen anybody else make that one you know this that's a three this one's actually a four three and a half are the most you'll the most uh, common size you'll see on the river this one I bought the other day I really want to catch a fish on that one because I just saw the color and went ooh <laughs> so hopefully one of these days I'll catch a fish on it and I'll have a video for it if you liked what you saw, you learned something, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We'll see you on the water tight lines.